Good morning, my name is Omar Barlow and I'm the master of Passion Projects. I'm here with Carmen, the redhead beauty, and I am going to show you again how to unearth what's in a young person's heart. Now, Carmen already told me this morning, Mr. Barlow, I don't really know what I'm passionate about. I don't know what I'm really supposed to do. That's not a problem. She's with the master of Passion Projects and I'm gonna show her how it's done. Watch me work, baby. Carmen, what's your passion? What things are you interested in? Things that you really love to do? Just talk to me. Um, I'm passionate about business, actually. Okay, you're passionate about business. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're sitting next to uh, the young man, Isaiah Harris. We call him Cash Money Brothers, okay? Uh, he, he just left the building. <laughs> He's scared to get on camera. Okay, so you're passionate about business. Why are you, why, pay attention, uh, pay attention to the questions that I'm asking Carmen, because all of these questions are important for unearthing what's in a young person's heart. So what is it about business that you really like? Um, you can be independent and still make good money, I guess. Okay. You can be independent and still uh, make good money. Do you like the, do you like the flow of money? Yes. Okay. You like the flow of money. Uh, have you ever uh, run a, have you ever run a business before? Just, I mean, a, a kid's yeah, business. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, run a business. So you did run a business before. Mm -hmm. What was the name of that business? I didn't have a name for it. Okay. I just like people would buy it off of me. What were they? What were they buying? Um, I used to customize these shoes that, and like a couple years ago. Okay. Now, you so you what type of shoes were they? They were like galaxy type. Okay, galaxy shoes. Now, if you created a project, now we can do. We can do two things. I want you to zoom the camera in because this is very important. Now, Carmen, I'm gonna show you two areas of business that you can uh, that you can do. Here's the first area. The first area of business that you can uh, move into is one is you can create and sell a product. Are you interested in doing that? Create. Okay. No. So you don't. You don't want to do that. But here's another level of business that I believe that you would love. And if you do it, everybody in this community would sweat your project. You can, do you like to teach? Oh, yeah. Like, do you like to share information with people? Mm -hmm. Good. Now watch this. You can create a system in which you teach people or your peers uh, let me say your peers about money now what, what 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 does this mean what does this mean what this means is um, you have this opportunity I, I want you to I want you to get this I want you to get this on the, the video you have an opportunity to create a system in which you teach people about money now watch this now we're gonna go to the circle because we agree to do this right all right now you ever heard of, um, so we're going to do the circle. So Carmen is passionate about business, about business. Um, but we're going to, we're going to say you want to teach people about this whole idea of becoming financially literate. Okay. Excellent. Financially literate. Boom. Got this. Now, so your project is going to be, you're going to um, create um, uh, a group uh, of young people who follow your financial lessons. Okay? Got you. Watch how this works. Now, have you ever read the book Rich Dad, Poor Dad? Yeah. Okay. You've read that book. Excellent. So Rich Dad shared lessons that Poor Dad didn't. Mm -hmm. Right? Now, have you ever applied any other lessons? Yes. You have? Okay, good, excellent. So you've applied some of the lessons. Mm -hmm. um, so that means, pay attention to my statement right here. So the fact that Carmen has read Rich Dad, Poor Dad, she knows some things that her peers don't know. So when you know things that your peers don't know, it qualifies you to teach them because you know something that they don't know. So here's the second thing that you need to do. You need to develop an outline of 
things you want to teach. You got me? Okay. Now, when I say develop an outline of things you want to teach, it could be, all right, I'm going to teach you how to, number one, let's basics. Do you have a bank account? All right. Number two, do you have a savings account? Number three, um, do you know anything about your credit school? But number four, do you know anything about stocks? Do you know anything about um, uh, all types of mutual funds, et cetera, things that you can invest in? Now watch this. Once you do that, you, you develop what you're going to teach. I want you to select five, would you want to do girls and, would you want to do males and females? Okay. So select your fab five. These are people, select your fab five of people that you would want to demonstrate these lessons with. So you can say, when it, you do a survey, when you uh, first started working with Carmen, what did you know about money? Nothing. Did you know this? No. Did you know this? No. Now, after you work with me, you have a bank account? Yes. Do you own stock now? Yes. Do you have a financial plan for your future? Yes. Now, I'm going to work with you, Carmen, because this is an important project. And I think because you've already read Rich Dad, Poor Dad, you select your five people. Now, you need to come up with a uh, some type of system as to how you are going to select these people. So you got your lessons. I'm going to help you with the lessons. But who are your five people? Okay. Now, here's something else. You need to onboard a professional to work with you. Somebody who knows this, you need to kind of get them on board. Somebody who can kind of mentor you about the process. So um, remember that video I showed two weeks ago? No, no, last week about the young man who had already invested in Nike and he's 14 years old and he's already worth $50,000. That's the type of stuff you want to do. So I have a game that I can give you it's called cash flow quadrant okay you want to take this group listen you want to take this group through this process now at the end you will have six people five including yourself who are following the vice of rich dad and what you do in the end is you produce a small video in which you celebrate the people for applying these lessons, okay? So now you have to get, I'm going I'm to give you two passion books. One is Rich Dad, Poor Dad. The 